morning. This is Melanie from Faithful Lamb. Today's blog, dated May 11, 2020, is titled, I Am a Sinner. I am a sinner. We all are. But I have been a sinner my whole life. I have doubted God, run from Him for 40 years, and searched in all the wrong places for the wrong answers. My first real and only association with God until adulthood was when I was 12 to 14 years old. I recall hearing that my sister or sisters told my mother to get me into a church at 12 years old. That's a tough age for children, puberty, hormones, and for parents, sanity. So my mother and I started going to First Baptist Church. When I was 13 years old, I was baptized in the church in front of the congregation. I don't really recall knowing the significance of it at that moment. But a short time later, my Sunday school class had a camp for the kids, and we were at camp for 10 days. While there, we had the opportunity to be baptized again in the lake, so I participated. Looking back now, and at the time, the whole baptism was surreal. As soon as I was put under the water in the lake that day, and then lifted up, I was completely at peace with everyone and everything. At the time, I had no idea that it was a very special gift that needed to be nourished daily with the Word of God and fervent prayer, and the peaceful gift soon faded after returning back to my world before church camp. So for another 20 years, I continued running from God, living an unrighteous and sinful life. At one point, I joined a metaphysical-slash-spiritual church for a few years, they had a strong community outreach program, and their messages and sermons were important life lessons. My mother told me over the years to get back to God. Being the heathen that I was, I always responded with, I don't believe in that stuff, Mom, or some other blasphemous comment, which I am sure broke my mother's heart. So for another 20 years, I continued running from God and living an unrighteous and sinful life. Until 2018, when I was sitting in my rocking chair in the garage and a storm was rolling in, low, grumbling black and gray clouds interspersed with lightning strikes and distant thunder. Then I hear this loud, booming thunder, which seemed to start at one end of the universe and echo across to the other end of the universe, and which seemed to last for eons or maybe two to three minutes. I was like, okay, that was weird. And then it happened again. In the back of my mind, I knew God was demanding my attention. He would no longer let me run away from him. My husband and I had been becoming more interested in reading the Bible in recent years and watching videos on history and archaeology. Some months later, God told me to, quote, help the children. I didn't hear a voice or see anything. It is more like the knowledge just came to me, help the children. I prayed fervently for guidance, quote, and now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity, 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13. After that, I created Bible for Buddies, www.bibleforbuddies.com, website and video Bible stories and lessons to reach children with God's word. Let us help God's children, young and old, but especially small children and orphans who are suffering through neglect, abuse, hunger, and abortion. Over 9 million children aborted in one and a half months in 2020 is an abomination. Psalms 127 verse 3, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb, his reward. We know from scripture that our sins are forgivable, John 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And also 1 John 1, verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This is my story. Did I want to tell it? Not necessarily, but I am reminded that we cannot hope to reach others with his glorious word and his promise of eternal life if we cannot admit to and confess out loud our own sins. James 5, verse 16. Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. And Matthew 10, verse 33. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. And to close our prayer for you, 
Heavenly Father, the living God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, marvelous counselor, prince of princes, king of kings. I acknowledge you to you that I am a sinner, and I am sorry for my sins and the life that I have lived. I ask for your forgiveness. I believe with all my heart and soul that your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, shed his precious blood and died for my sins and rose again, and I am now willing to turn from my sin to repent. You said in the Bible, your holy word, that if we confess the Lord our God and believe in our hearts that God raised Jesus from the dead, we shall be saved. Right now, I confess Jesus is my Lord and Savior, without which I am but sinful flesh. With all of my heart, I believe that our Heavenly Father, the living God, raised Jesus from the dead. This very moment, I accept Jesus Christ as my own personal Savior, and according to His word, right now, I am saved. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yeshua. Bless you all.